Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to map a network drive using Mac OS. So one of the use cases you can use to have a network drive in your Mac is when you are limited in storage space. If you my Mac, I don't have enough in storage space and I actually start using Final Cut Pro to edit videos. And that is a storage hog, especially if you export the video as an Apple MOV file. So Instead of uh, you know trying to export a video, delete everything, I decided that I'm gonna map a bunch of my network drive. As you can see, I have several storage, you know, in my computer, and some of them I made in my network share. So I'm going to go ahead and actually try to map the G drive, you know, onto my Mac because this has about two terabyte left, and that will give me a plenty room to go ahead and save Final Cut Pro videos or whatever media content I want to save so my Mac doesn't get full in storage. So now let me switch to my Mac and show you. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to my Mac over here. And in here, I just create a brand new profile so you guys can see it. I don't have anything customized configured, and this is something you don't need to for this to work. So first, I'm going to show you what type of Mac I'm running. It doesn't matter if I go to about, about Mac, you can see that I'm running the Montrey version 12.6. And then on the storage, I have like a 250 gig, 250 gigs, but I'm, I'm using it a lot faster. And I wanna make sure that, you know, I don't end up overusing my storage. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and map the network drive. So I'm gonna go to the finder, and then after that, I'm going to come over here to scroll down over here to network. And then uh, instead of uh, being on the network, I'm just going to hit command K. So you're going to hit command K. This will pull up the network share address where you can type in your network, you know, SMB share or whatever network type you have. I'm going to be mapping a network share. So it's going to be SMB. So just type in SMB. You can see it's gonna show up like that, SMB colon four slash four slash. And then you're gonna type in the IP address associated with it. So I'm gonna type in my IP address or in my network share name, but IP address is what I found it to be working effectively. So I'm gonna just do that. And then I'm gonna hit connect. So it's gonna say, you know, your attempt to connect to that IP that's fine i am accepting i'm accepting to connect to the ip hit connect what i'm doing ultimately is i'm just connecting to the general main network so it's going to give me all the share associated with that server so i should be seeing a lot more so now i'm going to type in my credential the credential is always going to be the ip address of the server slash i'm going to put in my password and then that should work. You can set it to remember the password. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do that and I hit connect. So yeah, I put in my IP address like this, you know, backslash administrator, which is my username and then my password and I hit connect now. And you can set it to remember the password if you want to. I'm going to hit connect and it's connecting. There you go. Now that I have the option to choose which network drive I can map. If I show, if you go back to my main computer earlier, I told you I have same money. So I have option to map the D. I have the option to map the D drive. I have the option to map, you know, the G drive, the H drive and the T drive. I'm just going to go ahead and map the G drive and then by double clicking it. So let me go ahead and actually go back to the Mac again. So now I have that option. I'm going to come over here, click on the G. Select this and then hit Command Shift and then you can move it as a shortcut too. But let me click on the G drive, hit OK. So here's the content of my G drive. You can see I have a bunch of things in there, bunch of things in there. And this is the same thing that is in my Windows, you know, network drive. So it's because it's essentially just a map share. Now, if I create, create a new folder, just go to new folder, file, new folder. Just call this one testing map from Mac 
So if I do that, and then you can see that's the folder I created. If I switch to my Windows PC, and then I open the G drive, you should be seeing this folder over here, testing, you know, you can see the folder I just created. That's, that's pretty much it. So this really, and then I can also do the same thing again, vice versa. I can create a new folder and then call it testing map from windows. And then I show you here, that's what it is. And then I'm going to stop. And then if I come back to my Mac again, you can see that. Let me go ahead actually and zoom it. On the Mac again, if you look, if you look right now, we will see the same thing. Testing map from Windows. So again, this this is, makes your life so easy, so much easier. You don't have to worry about storage. Now I have a bunch of storage. 